You won't believe this creature digs around in our planet. Meet the wombat, a remarkable marsupial that seems like nature's own little architect. With its unique cube-shaped droppings and an uncanny ability to dig intricate burrows, the wombat is sure to amaze you. What is a wombat? Wombats are fascinating creatures native to Australia. These short-legged, muscular marsupials belong to the family Vombatidae. Unlike many animals, wombats have a unique feature. Their pouch opens towards the rear, an adaptation that prevents soil from entering while they dig. They look really cute, but there's more to these animals than just their appearance. Like koalas, wombats are marsupials, meaning they carry and nurture their young in a pouch. They are primarily nocturnal and are known for their burrowing habits. Their burrows, often extensive, serve as a refuge from predators and harsh weather conditions. Where are wombats found? Wombats, the burrowing marvels of the marsupial world, are predominantly found in Australia. These creatures have made their homes in diverse terrains across the continent. From the forested regions to the mountainous areas, and even heathlands of southern and eastern Australia, wombats have marked their presence. The island of Tasmania also boasts a significant wombat population. Interestingly, there's an isolated patch in Epping Forest National Park in central Queensland where these creatures thrive. This patch spans about 300 hectares and stands as a testament to the adaptability of wombats. While they are habitat tolerant, wombats have shown a preference for woodlands, coastlands, and mountain forests. Their burrows, a signature of their existence, are intricate structures. These can range from 3 to 30 meters in length and delve up to 4 meters deep. How many species of wombats are there? There are three distinct species of wombats. The common wombat, the southern hairy-nosed wombat, and the northern hairy-nosed wombat. Each species has its own unique characteristics and habitats. The common wombat, known scientifically as Vombatus ursinus, is the most widespread of the three. It's recognized by its rounded nose and robust build. In contrast, the southern hairy-nosed wombat, primarily found in the southern parts of Australia, boasts soft, silky fur and, as the name suggests, a hairy nose. The northern hairy-nosed wombat is the rarest, with its population critically low, making it a focal point for conservation efforts. While all wombats share certain traits, such as their burrowing habits and nocturnal nature, there are subtle differences in their appearance and behavior. For instance, the northern hairy-nosed wombat is slightly larger than its counterparts. While wombats are solitary by nature, they don't typically live together, but their burrows might be part of a larger network allowing for some interaction. What do wombats eat? Wombats have a diet that's as intriguing as their burrowing habits. These creatures primarily thrive on a herbivorous diet, munching on grasses, bark, stems, roots, and tubers. While they might resemble miniature bears, wombats are not equipped to be predators. Instead, their sharp, chiseled front teeth, which continuously grow, are perfectly adapted for gnawing tough vegetation. As the seasons change, so does the wombat's menu. During the summer, the variety of plants available to them expands, offering a more diverse range of foods. This includes wallaby grass, tussocky snowgrass, and kangaroo grass. They also have a penchant for sedges, shrubs, and tree roots. Their diet might not seem particularly nutritious at first glance, but wombats have evolved a slow digestive system and metabolism to extract the maximum nutrients from their food. This adaptation ensures they remain energetic and healthy, even with their fibrous diet. How big do wombats get? Wombats, the burly marsupials of Australia, are often mistaken for being small due to their stout appearance. However, these creatures can grow quite large, comparable in size to a medium-sized dog. Typically, a wombat can reach lengths of about 1 meter and has a small, stubby tail that adds to its compact look. When it comes to weight, wombats are surprisingly hefty. They can weigh anywhere between 20 and 35 kilograms. To put this into perspective, the common wombat, known scientifically as Vombatus ursinus, can weigh between 25 to 40 kilograms. Their size is complemented by their wide, strong feet, which are perfectly adapted for their primary activity, digging. Are wombats endangered? Wombats have varying conservation statuses depending on the species. While some wombats are relatively abundant, others face the threat of extinction. The common wombat, for instance, is classified as least concern on the IUCN Red List, indicating that it is not currently at immediate risk. However, the situation is quite different for the northern hairy-nosed wombat. 
This particular species is critically endangered, with its population dwindling to alarmingly low numbers. Factors such as habitat loss, competition for food, and human interference have contributed to their decline. Efforts are underway to protect and conserve this species, with conservationists and researchers working diligently to ensure their survival. The southern hairy-nosed wombat, on the other hand, faces its own set of challenges, but is not as critically endangered as its northern counterpart. How long do wombats live? Wombats have a lifespan that might surprise many. These creatures, known for their burrowing habits and cube-shaped droppings, can live for a significant amount of time in the wild. Typically, a wombat's lifespan ranges between 15 to 20 years. However, in captivity, where they are shielded from predators and have a consistent food supply, they can live even longer. One notable example is Patrick, a famous wombat who lived in Ballarat Wildlife Park in Victoria, Australia. Patrick reached the ripe old age of 32, making him one of the oldest known wombats ever recorded. This longevity is quite impressive, especially when considering the challenges wombats face in the wild, from habitat destruction to road accidents. Do wombats make good pets? Wombats, with their stout bodies and seemingly docile nature, might appear to be the perfect cuddly pet. Their resemblance to a teddy bear further fuels this perception. However, the reality is quite different. While wombats are undeniably adorable, they are wild animals with specific behaviors and needs that make them unsuitable for domestication. Native to Australia, wombats are solitary and nocturnal creatures. They have a penchant for digging and exploring, often creating extensive burrows. Adult wombats can become very aggressive, especially when they feel threatened or cornered. Their strong jaws and sharp teeth can inflict serious injuries. Moreover, being nocturnal means they are most active during the night which doesn't align with the typical human schedule. Furthermore, wombats have specific dietary and habitat requirements that can be challenging to replicate in a home environment. Their natural instinct to burrow can also lead to property damage. As captivating as they might seem, wombats are best appreciated in the wild or in environments that mimic their natural habitat. How do wombats reproduce? Wombats have a unique reproductive process that's intricately tied to their environment. Being marsupials, Wombats give birth to underdeveloped young, which then continue their development in the mother's pouch. The gestation period for wombats is relatively short, typically around 20 to 30 days. After birth, the tiny, bean-sized offspring makes its way into the mother's pouch, where it latches onto a teat for nourishment. Inside this protective environment, the young wombat, often referred to as a joey, grows and develops for several months. After about 6 to 10 months, the joey starts venturing outside the pouch but returns for feeding and protection. By the time it reaches a year old, the young wombat is usually independent, though it might still remain close to its mother. Interestingly, the timing of wombat births often coincides with the beginning of peak food supply. For instance, the common wombat typically breeds once a year, with the timing varying based on latitude and elevation. In southeastern Australia, births usually occur between September and January, while in New South Wales, it's between December and March. This synchronization ensures that the young have ample food resources when they are weaned and start foraging on their own. How do wombats communicate? Wombats have a distinct way of communicating that's deeply rooted in their natural behaviors and environment. Unlike many animals that rely heavily on vocalizations, wombats primarily use scent as their primary mode of communication. They spend a considerable amount of time investigating scents left behind by other wombats. These olfactory markers provide vital information about territory, reproductive status, and individual identity. While vocal interactions are less common, they do occur, especially during direct encounters. When two wombats come face to face, they might emit a rough coughing noise, signaling their presence and possibly indicating their mood or intentions. Additionally, their communication isn't just limited to adult interactions. Mother wombats and their young also engage in vocal exchanges, especially when the young are in the pouch. Another fascinating aspect of wombat communication is their unique cube-shaped droppings. These serve as territorial markers, conveying information about the presence and dominance of an individual in a particular area. If the wombat's intriguing habits caught your attention, smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more amazing animal insights. Have you ever encountered a wombat or know other fascinating facts about them that you'd like to share? We'd love to hear from you in the comment section. Thanks again for joining us on this adventure and we'll see you in the next video.